Hello everyone. Welcome to today's lesson on finding surface area of pyramids. Before we get started, I'd like to make sure that you have the following materials ready to go for today's learning. You're probably going to want to have your math notebook or some paper, a pencil or pen, and your calculator. If you need to, please pause the video at this time and go grab your materials. You can resume as soon as you're ready. All right, so a pyramid is a solid three-dimensional shape with a polygon base and triangular faces that come to a point. That point is called the vertex or apex. As you can see from the examples that are shown, not all pyramids look exactly the same. So the first one on the left here is an example of a square pyramid. That's because the base is a square and it will have four triangular faces or sides. The middle one is an example of a triangular pyramid. That means the base or the bottom of the pyramid is in the shape of a triangle and it will have three triangular faces. This last one that I've shown here is a pentagonal pyramid. That means that the base is a five-sided pentagon, and then it will have five triangular faces that come to a point at the apex. So you can see there are a variety of different types of pyramids. Today, we're mostly going to focus on the square pyramid. So you're gonna to want to know that in order to find the surface area of a pyramid, you have to find the area of the base, no matter what shape that base is, and you have to find the area of the triangular sides. When you add those two together, you'll know the total surface area of your pyramid. Let's take a look at a couple examples. So here's an example of a square pyramid. Um, and I've also shown it in the three-dimensional view, as well as if we cut along the edges of the pyramid and laid it flat, which is called a net. So sometimes it's easier for some of us to visualize um, what are the different pieces that we need to find the area of and add together if we look at it in that net view. Okay, so Remember that we're going to figure out the area of each individual side. Now we have the base, which is a square. I can tell it's a square because I'm gonna just outline the base here. We can tell it's a square because this side is labeled three, this side is also labeled three. In order to find the area of a square, we need to do length times width, okay? In this case, that is three times three, or nine square inches. Now we also have, so that, in if I'm looking at my net, that tells me that the area of the base is nine square inches. Now I have four triangular sides and all four of those sides are going to be the same size as each other since my base is a square. So in order to find the area of a triangle, we need to remember our formula, which is base times height divided by two. Now base and height of a triangle are always the two dimensions that when they get together and in actually intersect, they form a right triangle. So that's gonna be three inches and five inches. That's our base and height of our triangle. So we actually have four triangles this size. So I'm gonna do four times the area of the triangle. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit closer so that makes it a little easier for you guys to see. Um, that means we're gonna be doing four times base times height divided by two, which is four times 15 divided by two. 
15 divided by 2 is equal to 7.5. And when I multiply 4 times 7.5, I get 30 inches squared. Okay, so what that really means is that each one of these triangles has an area of 7.5 square inches. And when I multiply that 7.5 times 4, I now know that 30 inches squared is the total of all four of those triangular sides. So now in order to find the surface area, I'm going to add together the area of the base plus the area of the triangular sides and my total surface area is 39 square inches. All right, you guys, let's just take a look at one more example together. And um, I do recommend that you go ahead and write this one in your notes as well. The more examples that you work through, the, um, the more you're training your brain how to do these types of problems. So we are going to figure out the area of the base. And again, our base is a square. We figure out the area of a square by doing length times width or some of you may know it as side times side since a square has the same side lengths. And in this case, we have sides that are um, length and width of five. That means the area of the base is gonna be equal to 25 inches squared. All right, we also have four triangles that make up the sides or the faces these are the four that connect at the apex or the vertex of our pyramid up at the top. And we're going to take four times the area of our triangle, base times height divided by two. For this particular set of triangles, our base and our height are five and 4.5. So base times height divided by two 4.5 times 5 gives me 22.5 divided by 2. Okay, 22.5 divided by 2 is equal to 11.25. Now remember, that means that each one of those triangular faces has an area of 11.25 square inches. And then we're going to multiply by 4, so we'll know the total area of all those triangular sides. And that is equal to 45 square inches. Okay, our total surface area then is going to be the area of the base plus the area of the triangular sides, which means our total surface area is equal to 70 square inches. All right, friends, I think you guys have enough to get started on today's work. Please check your teacher's homework page to find out what your assignment is. Have a wonderful day.